What's up guys? Today we're going to be changing out this fuel pump. Show you guys how we get that done. Got some fuel line too and a new fuel filter. Let's get into it. Shh. Okay, so on this Sportsman 450, the fuel pump is on the left hand side if you're riding the thing. Right hand side if you're looking at it from the front. And it is up here in the corner. Now if we look at mine, mine does not actually have hoses to the fuel pump because the previous owner just routed the fuel straight from the tank to the carburetor, which we might be able to see up underneath here. There is a petcock right over there, right there, you can see it. And it's routed straight directly through here, sorry, through here, right up through here to the carburetor. I don't know why the previous owner did that or what was the issue. Maybe this pump went bad, but I got this pump from Amazon for 20 bucks and I have it linked down in the description below. It should work. I mean, it had pretty good reviews on it and I got a bunch of new line that I'm going to be putting in because I'm not sure how old this line is. I'm pretty sure it's actually new. I think he told me he put new line on it, but I'm going to be taking that line there actually and routing it to the pump then from the pump coming out and riding it to the carburetor. But we're gonna go ahead and get into that. The first step you need to do is make sure your you know, foiler is definitely off and on flat level ground. We're gonna go ahead and shut the petcock off if we can, if, I mean, it's hard to show you guys, but uh, just turn it to the horizontal position or whatever way it says that it's off. Then we're gonna be able to remove the clamp from the carburetor up here. If you look, the carburetor connects to the fuel line right there right there sorry that's where the fuel line is connected so we'll just get some pliers in there and pull that clamp off and be able to slide the line through here and connect it to the new pump but first we've got to get this old pump off and if we look at the new one it looks like the back of it it just has two screws sticking out or threaded you know bolts that we'll be able to stick some nuts on so i'm guessing underneath here are some nuts if I can reach underneath there. Now, I may actually have to take some stuff off, which I was really hoping I wouldn't have to, but I may have to. Oh, and I also got new grips. I took these old crappy original Polaris ones off and put these Pro Taper pillow top grips on because I have them on my 400 and I really like the way they feel. So, let me pull some stuff off here and see if I have access, can get access to this thing without having to take all the plastics off. Okay, so this fuel pump is just on this plate here you don't have to take any plastics off, and it's just held on by these two 10 millimeter bolts. So the back of the fuel pump is actually held on by some nylon nuts here. So we're going to go ahead and take this vacuum line off, and we'll be able to, this thing will come free, and we'll be able to mount it up to the plate again, the new one. Okay, so before you ever put anything on, just make sure that these are the same orientation, everything's the same about them. Uh, this fuel pump could actually work, but if you look through here, the lines are actually clogged with mud and, and grime. So we're not even going to try to mess with it. I might save this just in case I want to mess with it one day to try to pull these off and maybe rebuild it. But for the most part, I'm not going to. Everything on these looks exactly the same. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take these two nuts off the back, mount this one up, and mount it back up there. Okay, so here's the old pump. Here's the new one. If you look at the back, it actually shows you which way the line should be put on. The gas comes in here and comes out there. We can go ahead and mount this back up like this. Just slide the two bolt holes through here. These were actually eight millimeter nuts. So we can just take the nuts, put them back on, get our ratchet, make sure it's nice and tight. Just like that, our new pump is on. So once your pump is back on, you can go ahead and mount these uh, this bracket right back up to the frame. It just takes these two 10 millimeter bolts, mounts it back up. We can take the vacuum line, which if you look here, it says P, which I'm assuming is prime. Hopefully you can see that it's not too dark in here. We can go ahead and mount this up here like this. We'll take this with some pliers, put it on. Vacuum line is on. Now we need to mount the hose, the fuel, fuel line, sorry. Okay, so now that you've cut your fuel line off, your petcock off, we can go ahead and come up here and get these pliers and should be able to pull off this 
little clamp right there off and I'll probably get some needle nose, slide it off, slide that fuel line off of the connector to the carb and then run it directly to the fuel pump. Okay, so when you pull your fuel line off your petcock, just be wary that there is gas still on this line. So you're going to get gas places, so as long as you have a your garage open or wherever you are is well ventilated, it shouldn't be an issue. But you see I rerouted this line to come through here. Not sure where the factory routing is, but this is where I'm going to have this run. It's going to come up here, and I need to cut it right there to attach to that uh, fuel pump. So looks like I need to cut off. We're going to cut off about six inches of line and then mount it up. So once you've cut your line, go ahead and reattach your clip, your little mounting clip thing here. And the factory pump, or the pump, when it comes from the factory, let me turn my light on in here. The pump, when it comes from the factory, has this little nipple on it, this shield stopping anything from falling in there. So we just need to take that off, slide it off, and we can slide the uh, old line onto the new inlet. It's pretty, it should be pretty tight. And if you're not sure which way the in and out is, you can look at the old one. Okay, so here's the old one, and if you flip it around, this is going in, the fuel is coming out. So the fuel comes in the top and comes out the bottom. So now that the new line is on there, we can spin this clamp around, grab it with our pliers, slide it up like that. Now it shouldn't come off. Now we can get the new line, put it on here, and run this to the carburetor. That's where this new line comes in. We're also going to cut the line and add this fuel filter. Now this is a really big fuel filter. The factory one is an inline small filter. This is the only one I could find that was pretty cheap and universal that fit this. So we're just going to go ahead and use this one and hopefully it works. If it doesn't work, I'll change it out because I have enough extra line here that I won't need it and just run it with that one until I get a new one. Okay, get your new line. There it is. And slide your clamp over it. We're going to put this new line on the out portion of this here. Sorry, this is pretty hard one-handed. Then we can slide this clamp over it like that and make sure your clamp is kind of not anywhere where it'll poke through any of these other lines. Now we can take this line and I'm going to route the entire line through up to there to the carburetor and then cut off where I think I need to cut it off at. But we'll probably only need about two foot of line so probably only about here. But we're going to see. I'm going to route the whole thing through. Okay, so I've cut it and I've now attached it to the carburetor. This is a really hard process to do, especially with all these plastic pieces on. It'd be a lot easier if you took these off, but I just don't want to take the time to take them off. So I got in here the best I could and got that clamp up as much as I could. But unfortunately, it's not up all the way. I'd like to have it up higher. I'm probably going to try to mess with it more here in a second. But now our line's kind of low. It's hanging a little low. I'd like it to be more up here, but we still got to cut... Uh, split in here for the fuel filter like i said that fuel filter is pretty big so we don't want it too high or the filter is going to sit in a weird spot so i'm going to try to get it to where it's tight enough to where i can put it up here and in that case i'll just cut off excess when i cut it in the middle for the filter so i'll probably just cut it right here in the middle with this razor knife and from there connect the filter and see where we need to go make sure you have more of these uh little clip things because I forgot that I didn't have any extra because this ran straight to the carburetor. But we'll try it here in a second. Okay, so now we've made our cut for our fuel filter. Like I said, this thing is giant. It doesn't need to be this big. This is just the only one I could find. We're going to see what, if we can mount it like this where it's hanging so it's not hitting anything. So in that case, we'll have to take this line, kind of measure it out over here. Sorry, measure it out over here and kind of cut it like that. And it should be good. But just make sure you don't cut too short if you don't have any more line, which I have enough. So if I cut it too short, I can just get some more line. Okay, so just like that, I found a spot where I want it. It's kind of hanging. It's not hitting anything, so it's not going to rattle and make any noise. There's not too much pressure on that line. So next step is to come back through here and turn your petcock back on so fuel can flow. We're going to... Try and crank it up and see what happens. Hopefully fuel starts running through there. Hopefully. Ah, there we go. 
fuel is starting to come through now. I'm not sure how full this will get, but it's just now starting to come through. I do need to add some more gas to my tank. It's pretty low, but as you can see, fuel is starting to fill up down here. It's perfect. It's just what we wanted. I was having issues before giving it gas and it kind of hesitating like that. So I'm hoping that this helps. We'll see, there could be bad gas in it too. But at least now the fuel pump is connected. Whoops. And we won't have to worry about that anymore. Brand new fuel pump on, should be ready to rip. Um, we're going to call that good, guys. Hopefully that video is not too long. If you guys ever need to change the fuel pump on a 2007 Sportsman 450, that's how you do it. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Uh, I, if you need fuel line, I just got mine at my uh, local AutoZone, or you can go to O'Reilly's. Any, any of your auto parts store should have fuel line just like that. I used quarter inch. That's what this four-wheeler takes. Leave a like. Leave a comment. Subscribe if you like, guys. All right. Thank you for watching. Peace. Peace.